Hey, this is Andrew Brown, and we are taking a look at CloudFront. But before we do, let's describe what a CDN is. So a CDN is a distributed network of servers that deliver web pages and contents to users based on their geographical location and the origin of the web page and a content delivery server. So it does a few different things, but more or less, it is a global cache. Um, so here is a, a diagram of what it looks like. We'll explain those components here in a moment. But CloudFront is a CDN that can be used to deliver static content, dynamic content, streaming videos, and web sockets. Amazon CloudFront can be fronted with the AWS WAF for OWASP. I think I spelt that wrong there because it's OSWAP, but it's supposed to be, uh, <laughs> sorry about that. That's supposed to be WSAP. As you can see, I can't even draw with this pen for protection. Uh, Amazon CloudFront can stream videos on demand using the ISS Microsoft Smooth Streaming. For core components, the way it works is you have an origin. This is lo the location where all of the original files are located. So this could be S3 bucket, EC2 instance, an ELB, rough D3. We have edge locations. These are the compute located strategically close to the end users. It, these are caching data. So they're holding onto a cache as close as they can to the edge location. There are regional caches. These are intermediate caches in between um, uh, AWS and the edge location. And this is to optimize um, the cache for, for geographical broad locations. Then you have your distribution and it's the big gray box if you didn't notice. This is a collection of edge locations and regional caches that define how cache content should behave. So there you go.